The Honor Magic 6 Pro arrived here in the studio and I want to do a quick unboxing and first look, so let's get started. So the Honor Magic 6 Pro arrives in this very, very simple little box and we have the phone on top. You can see this big NFC logo there and underneath there we have a bit of paper stuff, yeah. There's no charger anymore. You see that the box is very, very small. We have a SIM eject pin and then we have some paper material as well as a USB type C to type C cable. And that is basically it, what comes included in the box. So very quick unboxing here on the Honor Magic 6 Pro. The device comes in this very, very nice bluish kind of finish, vegan leather, has a little bit of grip feeling, grip material. I like to use it like this already. I don't feel the necessity to put like a case on it because it holds pretty nice in the hands like this already, which is quite nice. We have this like glossy kind of uh, camera ring, I would say. It's a bit of a weird kind of camera ring, but it's a bit uh, glossy as you can see here. There's a microphone on the back as well as uh, there's a microphone on the top, IR blaster, speaker, there's another speaker on the bottom, USB type C, 3.0 with video out and such things, microphone and dual a nano SIM slot, which is quite nice. We have a power button and a volume rocker there as well. And we have, of course, this gorgeous design with this uh, curved screen and back that is, uh, yes, simply completely different from everything else. You can see also the curve of the screen is like going around here on the bottom and on the top, which is quite nice as well. So very, very nice design here on the Honor Magic 6 Pro. Of course, there's eSIM support as well as physical SIM support, as you can see here. Here you can see the gorgeous screen 6.8 inch and the pill cut out there that is now in the middle but it is a little bit uh, wider but a bit thinner if you compare it for example uh, with uh, one of its predecessor uh, here the magic 4 ultimate but on the magic 5 pro it looks the same as you can see here it's a bit larger on the predecessor and we have slight curves on the side and also on the bottom and on the top, which helps with those swipe gestures. Print scanner, where you can just simply add your fingerprint to your device. And this works uh, optically here. And is, I think, quite good. And as you see here, this logo says that it's like protected by a security chip that is built into the Honor Magic 6, just like on its predecessor, quite good. And of course, we also have this 3D face detection that we can also use here for setting this up. And this one is also secured by this special security chip here. In terms of storage, we have 512 gigabytes here, 485.79 gigabytes free. So roughly use 26.21 gigabytes. That's a bit yeah, too much, I would say, because usually on other phones, I have only 20 gigabytes used here. We have 26 gigabytes used. So do we see any applications that we want to delete? We have My Honor, we have the app market here we have the typical google applications yeah we have some apps like tiktok netflix facebook and booking.com pre-installed and some top apps here that are wps office and trip.com and the rest is like system apps like contacts weather calculator and such things and even a remote control if you need it because we have an ir blaster on the top Let's take a look at the camera system. The most prominent that you see here on the top is the 180 megapixel periscope zoom lens, two and a half times zoom. Then we have the main camera sensor, which is 50 megapixels, so one over 1.13 inch size sensor and variable aperture from f1.4 to f2, I think, to two stops. 
and we have the 50 megapixel 30 millimeter ultra wide angle and then we have another 50 megapixel one here on the front facing camera you can see it has also a 3d time of flight sensor which is quite nice indeed and i think we check out a little bit of those cameras now Front-facing camera on the Honor Magic 6 Pro 4K 30 recording here we have two different zoom levels this is the one time zoom level i can zoom out a little bit like this you can see i have my external mic plugged in so this should work fine as well what do you think about the audio quality and you see a little bit overblown highlights there in the background cool thing is here this front-facing camera has not only 50 megapixels but also autofocus so i can hold my phone this is the magic 4 ultimate in the camera you can see it is focusing quite nicely on it so what do you think about this front facing camera here same position now the back facing camera this is the main sensor it's not one inch not a one over 1.12 inch size sensor but one over 1.13 inch size sensor and a little bit smaller but with variable aperture which is quite nice we have of course also autofocus so if you want to have this here it will focus on it we have the possibility to record 4k 30 4k 60 as well with the highest quality there there's no 15 minute limit on 4k anymore which is quite nice and of course i have the possibility to zoom out so by pressing just a button there and i'm on the what is it i think 50 megapixel ultra wide angle there as well that is also quite wide as you can see here and uh, does the job quite well let's try out the zoom camera so i can go directly to the 2.6 times zoom and let's see if we can find some fishes there we have one let's go to 10 times zoom this is the maximum 10 times zoom as you can see it's quite clear and yeah it's doing a good job on my first impressions here what do you think about this one here so here we have some uh, pictures that I took, uh, first impression pictures, uh, main camera sensor here I think is pretty good. As you can see here, the even in this cloudy day, the detail level is quite good there and not much of a difference there. Also going towards the side, it's quite sharp still. Zoom camera, 2.5 times zoom, also okay I would say here. As you can see one of those cars cannot move anymore. Selfie here. I think also quite sharp, a little bit maybe too contrasty there, the look. My eyes are a bit too dark, I would say. But yeah, maybe because of the contrasty background there. Macro shots here with the tele zoom lens 2.5 times. Yeah, it's okay, but we see a bit of a, uh, chromatic aberrations and fringing going on there. And uh, yeah, but we have nice bokeh there for sure. And another macro shot here of my headphone. This is 2.5 times. You can also crop into five times and uh, I think overall it's okay-ish but I saw already better when it comes to those zooms. Portraits uh, in the default vivid style look a bit too contrasty in my taste and I think they're a bit soft. Uh, so the sharpness there is a bit soft and you can see it also with my beard and the beard hair there. Boko was set to 2.8 which is the default one or two. 2.6, 2.4, something like this, which is the default one. This is a natural one. Do you notice any difference between this and this? Actually, no. This and this, because this one is uh, the two times zoom. Um, so yeah, nothing here. I think the natural one is a bit better with my eye colors. Still a bit too dark, I would say, and too more contrasty of a look. And then what's going on here? I don't know. This 2x zoom, it's totally overblown and I look whitish and detail levels are not there. I don't know what happened here. It was now again in the vivid mode, the two times zoom, uh, which is weirdly looking here, completely not what I was expecting of the Magic 6 Pro. Then I try to zoom in here. This is uh, one times. This is uh, the 2.5 times zoom, as you can see there. Nice and detailed. And then we go to five times, which is like a crop in on the sensor. Still nice and detailed, I would say. And then we go up to 10 times already. Also still nice and detailed and I think okay, but you can see already, I zoom in a little bit more that there's heavy processing involved. And if I go even further, this is 30 times, it becomes even more obvious. <laughs> you can see there's not even straight lines there anymore. And then this is like, I think, 100 times, which is the maximum. Forget about it. Uh, modern art. A video. Uh, ultra wide angle here. Also looking nice, I think. No issues there. HDR, yeah, it's not good of an HDR test. Plus the sides, nice and sharp still. 
it's getting a bit soft here on this side as you can see there which is to be expected from 13 millimeters but if i compare it for example with the magic 4 ultimate that had like i think 64 megapixel sensor there um, it was performing a bit better here i think uh, a bit soft there also towards the side there very wide field of view 30 millimeters and uh, yeah let's check out another sunshine sun setting shot and another zoom 2.5 times five times 10 times still nice and detailed and this is 30 times not nice and detailed anymore you can see already like the the, the artifacts of over sharpening and other stuff that's doing here and then this is 30 times as well a little bird that i don't know what kind of bird it is but you can see when i zoom in a little bit already it looks like an old painting so forget about everything above 15 times zoom because it's getting to be an old painting there so a bit disappointed by the tele zoom lens i expected a little bit more there main camera sensor and ultra wide angle are basically on the same kind of level i would say first impression here as the predecessor not really an improvement though First of all, what you will notice when you turn off the screen is that we have this new AOD always on display that turns off after a second, but you can see it maintains the wallpaper that you have set, uh, just like an iPhone uh, uh, would do or the new Galaxies are also doing. We have this fingerprint reader, which is quite fast, and as you can see, it blends in, and it's a very bright display already, 5,000 nits peak brightness here, 1,600 nits if is the highest setting in manual mode, I think, if you go high, and you can see I'm pretty low, but it's still looking very, very bright already. And of course, we have also face detection. I have to turn it a little bit, so it detects my face. You can see there's the lock. I can swipe up and I, in, in my system here right now this is also working quite nice also in dark shouldn't have any issues with this 3d face unlock option let's perform a little sound demo here with those two speakers <laughs> So they can get pretty loud, not the loudest. They have good bass, I would say. It's vibrating a little bit in this area here, but otherwise they sound uh, quite nice and full, I have to say. So good job on the audio part, Honor. One of the cool new features of Magic OS 8, which is the operating system that Honor ships here on its brand new flagship, is the possibility of the Magic Capsule. So if I play something back, I can go swipe up and you can see that we have this yeah, dynamic island-like clone. Actually, Honor was the one who invented it, so they are just stealing the information or they are inspired, getting, getting inspired from what Apple did with this and uh, taking it back. But yeah, this is uh, definitely very, very... Uh, similar to what the dynamic island on apple devices can do so this is playback you have the control here to playback skip to the next song and so on so this is possible here uh, with this um, magic capsule some other new cool settings uh, on the uh, new Magic OS 8 that you will find is when we go in our home screen settings here, we have uh, now the option to configure our swipe down gesture. By default, it's still opening up the Honor Search, but we can say we want notifications or control center, and we have set this. We can just swipe down and get our notifications or our control center. So depending on where, on which side we swipe down, we can get our control center. Here you get the control center with all the controls. Those are AI driven controls, so they might change depending on what you use mostly. And of course we have the possibility to go in here, choose our headphones if you want to, add new devices, set our volume, and have our playback control that not only works with the inbuilt media player, but with Spotify, with Amazon Music, and with lots of others like also um, the antenna pod podcasting client is working fine with this as well. And of course, we have the possibility when we turn on Bluetooth to discover more devices that we can add to our um, phone and connect and play with it. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed with uh, the Honor Magic 6 Pro is the lack of smart sensing look at the honor magic 5 pro that had this cool new feature called smart sensing and if you click on this 
we have the possibility to have like the AOD screen shown by facial recognition or the smart rotate. So if you could lie down with your phone like this, it would not rotate like this. It would just simply see my face and rotate back, as you can see here. Future me here, I found the smart sensing technology. It is hidden somewhere else under assistant and I didn't find it by searching for smart, which is the one thing that I did, but uh, nevertheless, it's still here. Gaze at screen to enable AOD, glance to reduce ringer volume and keep screen on while looking as well as smart rotation and auto orientation, which is also quite nice of a feature. So they are still here, just yeah, under assistant now. One thing that I couldn't find, however, is the magic portal that was advertised actually at MWC. You can see that here under Assistant on the Magic 4 Ultimate that has a beta version of Magic OS 8, I have the magic portal there and this is how it works and looks like. You can mark text and so on and then you can just take it, swipe it to the right and then uh, some AI generative applications and their sharing options will appear. So you can immediately share a text or you can immediately share an image and you can do it with uh, even screenshots if you do it. But yeah, we, we can just try it. Take a screenshot, just take the screenshot, go to the edge here and if I hold here, I have the possibility to do certain things with their favorite space, print it out, add to the calendar and such things. But if I do it here on my Magic 8 Pro, I do a screenshot. Not even this is working. See, not even this is working. So now ah, it's taking a screenshot. Take the screenshot. You can see the Magic Portal is not coming up here. So there is no Magic Portal currently on the software version. And this is a huge disappointment because they were advertisement, advertising the Magic 6 Pro with this feature, but now I have this version here and it's not there and I didn't get any update for it. So this is really disappointing. For people who want to stream content, uh, especially videos and so on, we have of course White Wine L1 support, even with HDR support. So Netflix, for example, features uh, Full HD and then HDR10, HEVC and Dolby Vision support here for HDR content, which is quite nice. And when we want to enhance our video even more, there's a video enhancer and under settings that can enhance the video even more for YouTube, Netflix and other supported applications. Talking about the display and display settings, we have eye comfort and sleep settings here and we have the possibility to have the, um, what is it, circadian night display turned on, which is like a true tone kind of technology that we have here. We can schedule our eye comfort level for the different times here like i have to i want this for example like this and uh, we have the filter level and we have some other options here that are included with this display dynamic dimming and 4320 hertz ultra high frequency pvm a PWM dimming so you don't have any problems at night time looking at a dim light screen because we have this very high frequency dimming so you don't get like headaches and so on at least this is the theory and yeah some other settings there as well we can set up the display size we have the possibility to also set up our screen resolution from smart to the highest for example and we have also our refresh rate that we can set up between dynamic, standard and high. For high, we have then also the setting to manage apps using high refresh rate and we can set up some of those apps not to use the high refresh rate, for example, so they will fall back to 60 hertz instead. Sadly, the 90 hertz option that was still there, I think, on the Magic 5 Pro is gone here. So you can only use the dynamic one, which will most of the time leave all the applications running at 90, but sometimes they can peak up even to 120 hertz. Let's talk a little bit about the battery. 5,600 milliampere hour silicon carbon battery inside, which is the newest technology and on a promises very, very long battery life. And 5,600 milliampere hours in this very, very thin kind of device is also pretty, pretty awesome, I would say. And all the first tests that I saw are looking very, very promising for this one here. Even in the cold winter, 
you have no issues with the battery running low very quickly. We have various different modes here, performance mode, power saving mode and ultra power saving mode. Wireless reverse charging is also on board. I think it has like 66 watt wireless charging again. You know, yeah, it's kind of a downgrade if you come from the Magic 4 Ultimate, but there were some like technical limitations and uh, differences now with this uh, charging technology. So this one should work pretty, pretty smoothly. And of course we have also, I think it is 80 watt or even 100 watt wired charging there. And yeah, we have some other wireless, uh, wireless reverse charging settings there and some other battery settings here as well. The usual things that we see on Honor phones. One of the specialty of Honor Magic 8 is the Honor Connect. I think it was also there in earlier versions, but it allows you to connect various different devices. Like for example, I can see my Magic 4 Ultimate here. I could like click on this. As you can see, it's nearby. And I have various options that I can do here. Services on this device I turn on, like connected calls, notification, input, and camera. So input would mean like if I copy something here on my device, I could paste it on my Magic VS or Magic 4 Ultimate without any issues because they are connected already and the same goes for calls and so on i would get notifications also on the other devices so i have the possibility to simply uh, answer the calls there as well so very very nice technology here on the magic 6 pro for those who are interested in if the problem with video players and small kind of uh, different video players without uh, yeah talking about youtube just like new pipe for example as a client and having like status uh, with the Magic 5 Pro. This has been fixed, so the Magic 6 Pro doesn't have this issue at all. Everything is working fine. One of the major new features of Magic OS 8 is the uh, possibility to set up a very customized lock screen. Let's go into our apps and into our wallpapers here. And I want to set up a wallpaper, like for example, this one is a nice one. So I go in here, I choose Set As, and then I can choose Wallpaper here with the Gallery app. If I go into this and choose both home screen and lock screen, I get into this new configuration dialog for the lock screen. And as you can see here, I can change the image, of course. I can pinch and crop if I want to. I have some possibilities to tune my uh, clock style here. Like I can set uh, various different fonts here, as you can see. Let me set this one, for example, is a bit larger there, and I can choose also a color. This one is choosing automatically the color based upon the locks, uh, the, the wallpaper, and this is fine. What I can do also is like uh, see a preview of my home screen, which is quite nice, and I have the possibility to set up here colors and select the wallpaper again and select even the blur like on older uh, Huawei and uh, Honor um, Magic OS devices. Then I can also choose the lock screen style. So if we want to have a different styling here, for example, lucky number, we can choose this here. Of course, I have to choose the image again that I want to use. Uh, let's take the image with the, with the little anime la lady and the cat. And I can, of course, tune it a little bit so they are appearing in the number. Uh, which is quite nice. Uh, I can choose a decoration, so I can choose the number style that I want to have. Maybe my lucky number is seven, so I choose seven, and then I have to rearrange them a little bit, maybe. I'll just leave it like this. And I can choose like the um, yeah, lock screen style, the decoration, like the template color, like if I want something warmer, like this, or something cooler, like bluish kind of color, pinkish kind of color. Maybe this kind of color. And then I can hit apply. And it's setting up the wallpaper now and this new lock screen. If I go out, you can see we have this brand new wallpaper then set up. And if I go into the lock screen, you can see that um, the AOD did not change. So there is a little bit things that they still have to, I think, that they can customize there in this regard. Because the lock screen is cor the correct one. But for the AOD, what we can do is we can go into our home screen in style and always on display. And here we can see, uh, we can set up the full screen, for example. Then it would use our wallpaper, which is by, I think, the default setting. I switched it to partial screen, which is then not automatically taking on uh, the wallpaper that you set up. And when we have this, and you can see, yeah, it's uh, taking the lock screen as like uh, always on display slightly there we go. There 
we go and yeah this is how it works i think there's still something that they could uh, improve in this regards here but it's already like an improvement to what we had with metro uh, 7 and uh, on the magic 5 pro for example so what do you think about this customizations as we all saw in the yeah quick unboxing we don't have an included case anymore honestly it's not really necessary because this vegan leather here is pretty, pretty good. But nevertheless, if you pre-ordered, like I pre-ordered pre -ordered this uh, Magic 6 Pro, I also got the case here for free, which is the official Honor case with a stand, which is also quite nice. So let me put this on here and uh, we see that it has the same color and uh, a slightly different pattern, however, than the actual phone. We have this Honor branded uh, kickstand here that is also like covered still with a foil so much for reducing plastic and uh, yeah the kickstand here is like protecting also the stand a little bit there uh, cannot be rotated like on the magic vs but nevertheless it's quite good so you can see it's like blending in of course with the rest of the device it has this cutouts perfectly aligned here for everything and uh, of course it's like protecting the sides a little bit by uh yeah standing over the edges here protecting the display glass a little bit just a tiny tiny lip there uh, on all four edges and leaves the sides open for best grippability and it doesn't feel bad it feels like it could be an integrated kind of uh, uh, case quite nice and i think the 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 benefit here is that you have the stand so you can stand it up which is I think quite nice it could stand like this but also like this uh, a nice idea i would say and uh, yeah good or oh, well done does this remind you of something yes this is the honor magic 6 pro with the stand with the kickstand if i stand it up like this it will show you a clock and a date and you can swipe through it to have various different uh, gadgets yeah this is directly copied from the fruit company i would say and yeah, we have various different options there. And of course, if you wireless charge it, it will stay on. Show you the, the charging percentage, the 87%, so I don't have to charge it. But a pretty nice feature, even though it is copied, isn't it? When it comes to GPS, it's acquiring GPS uh, and 3D fix quite quickly, as you can see here. I had no issues at all when navigating with uh, this uh, this afternoon. Using this one, you can see it's already nighttime. And uh, yeah, the accuracy is also pretty on par, so no issues with GPS and navigation. Taking a look at the software and the software updates. So first of all, Android security patch level is uh, January 2024. If I go back and check for updates, uh, I didn't get any update initially at all because I didn't have any SIM card inserted. So we still have this issue. If you don't have a SIM card inserted, I have now a SIM card inserted, you don't get any updates. But I only got a small update, the patch 02, as you can see here, that patches something with a few megabytes only. And if I search for updates, even the tryout version updates here, I did don't get any updates. So I still have to wait for Magic Portal and maybe some other updates to maybe improve also the cameras. Let's see and wait. But this is something that you probably don't want to see and wait. So if you are now deciding to buy the Honor Magic 6 Pro, you really are not getting all the features that they advertised. So you have to wait a little bit. I know it's very, very exciting to have a new device in your hands and especially with this like 300 euro discount that you will get by when buying this here, it makes maybe a lot of sense to buy it right now. But I would say just wait a bit until all the features are there, until all the updates are there, especially for the camera, because I'm a bit disappointed by the cameras, especially the zoom or the telecamera, the big 180 megapixel sensor there, actually probably a 200 megapixel, they're just cropping in a little bit, because especially when it comes to the portrait shots, it's like so bad because it's like redrawing the face, the eyebrows and so on. And you can really clearly see it's almost comically bad there which is like very disappointing i hope they will update it pretty pretty soon with a new portrait algorithm there and also i think the telelens in general is a bit weak also when it comes to the higher zoom levels and i think the magic 5 pro and even the magic 4 ultimate could beat this one here in terms of quality 
So this is my first impression. Otherwise, the software I really like. Here there are some bits and pieces still that need a bit of work. I like the new um, animations and the possibility to set a lock screen and wallpaper. They can make it a little bit better there still, I think, and make it like more Xiaomi Hypo S-like with the lock screen wallpaper AOD integration, which is like slightly off here still for certain things. So I could integrate, like for example, if I have not set like the full um, desktop wallpaper to be shown on the AOD, just a little small uh, circle that it automatically sets the right wallpaper to the one that I'm using, for example, which make, makes it more integrated. Such little nitpicks that I have here and there. Otherwise, the battery life seems very solid. GPS I tested for one day here, navigating with this. Also pretty solid, no issues with this one. And I think video performance is pretty solid as well, just like on the Magic 5 Pro. But if you're using the Magic 5 Pro right now, there's no reason really to switch to the Magic 6 Pro. If you're still using the Magic 4 Pro, then maybe with the discount it might make make sense, but keep in mind that you probably don't get a huge upgrade and benefit when it comes to the cameras. More likely the software experience with Magic OS 8 is much smoother and better and you get a bit of a faster and fluider system here on the Magic OS, uh, Magic 6 Pro with Magic OS 8. So that's my first impression. What do you think about the Magic 6 Pro? Write it down in the comment section. Of course I will do Com camera comparisons with the Magic 5 Pro and with the Magic 4 Ultimate that I have and some other current devices, Vivo X100 Pro, Oppo Find X7 Ultra and so on. So stay tuned, subscribe and if you want to see the videos as early as possible you can also now become a member of the channel so you get as soon as I have those edited I just throw them out without thumbnail, without maybe even uh, the right description text but you can still already uh, start to comment and start a discussion with me about this phone. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You can hear my kid is crying already. Until the next time. Bye.